I'm sore. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy OG Dan back again for another video. And today we're gonna be talking about what is in my backpack. So come along. All right, guys, so recently I've been watching like a bunch of YouTube videos on like EDCs and backpacks because I'm getting ready for college and I was just looking up backpack videos and then those started getting recommended to me. And I was like, hey, you know, there's no really good EDC videos for skateboarders and longboarders. Like not a lot of people know what we carry with us every time we go out, if we carry anything at all. A lot of people probably don't carry a lot, but I like to carry a few things with me just because it makes it a little more enjoyable. You know, for example, a water or something if I get thirsty or whatnot. So yeah, that's basically what we're gonna do today. We're gonna check out everything that's inside my backpack. And this is, keep in mind, this is pretty overpacked, so I don't always carry this stuff with me. But this is like, if I have to go out with everything, this is what I'll carry with. Me. So before that though, gotta have the longboard with us. You know, that's a staple. Longboard, skateboard, cruiser board, whatever board. This will be my ride of choice. Now, let's get into the bag. Okay guys, so this is an Under Armour storm backpack i don't know i got it like five years ago so it's a pretty old backpack pretty old bag but it's very durable lasts me quite a while i'm probably gonna get a new one soon but this is probably gonna stay my sport bag because it's already pretty beat up and stuff it's a tank it holds together pretty well over the years so that's just what i'm using before we actually get into it as you can see here i got my typical white hat that i'm always wearing this is my jam cross country hat that i got the past year of high school and i just have it connected to the handle on top with these two carabiner clips the reason i use two is because if i do if i use just one and i put it on it's likely going to sling backwards so with the two it stays on there like that so it's a pretty good way to hold them like that then over here i have this cool water bottle University of Minnesota water bottle because that is where I'm going next year for fall semester. And then on this side, I've got another camera lens. This one is more of a portrait photography lens. It's got a mount adapter on it because this camera is an EFM camera. So this is a mount adapter that allows you to use EF lenses on the EFM mount cameras. So that's what I got here. This is actually a pretty new pickup. And then the other thing in that pocket is just a face mask in case I have to go to a store that requires it. And that's pretty much everything on the outside of it. So let's get into the first pocket here. This is the small quick grab item pocket. Also note the little chest pin on there. Found that in my room, thought it was pretty cool. Got it when I was younger. Uh, but yeah, opening up this pocket here, we got four items. First being chapstick, just chapstick brand chapstick. You know, gotta have chapstick with you, very important. Especially for me, I have pretty large lips. Second thing being my wallet, uh, just yeah, not gonna show you the inside, but my wallet's in there. Then I got this little lock here that I usually kind of leave in there because sometimes I'll bring this to the gym or something. Yeah, I always put my lock in here so I can quickly grab it. And then I got my AirPods case. Nothing in them, I'm wearing them, but always keep that because you know me, gotta have them AirPods in all time. And yeah, that's all I have in my quick items. Sometimes I'll throw random stuff in here like gum or other things that I get, but those are kind of the four main items that I always carry with me. So moving on to the next pocket, there's three pockets on this backpack and this is the second one. It goes from small to large. So this is the medium sized pocket and it goes all the way down in the bag. And I got quite a lot of stuff in here. I usually put most of my stuff in this one because the main pocket sits on my back and I don't know, I just don't really like having expensive, important things pushing up against my back. But uh, yeah, in here we got some organizers and I just have some pens and highlighters and pencils and stuff there. In the other pocket next to it, I got a bandana. This is in case I can't find my face mask and it's just a quick solution or there's just a lot of uses for bandanas. Tie your hair up, use it to wipe the sweat off your face, you know, whatever you need. It's light, might as well put it in your bag, you know, why not? Then there's this other little pocket here and in this pocket, I actually have this mini little tripod. It's kind of a mini version of the one that's on this camera right here. And I also have a phone mount for that. So what I'll do is I'll screw the phone mount on here, take my phone, which is usually in my pocket, and hook that on like that, and then I can open up the little tripod, set it down somewhere and get some photos by myself, use the self timer or whatnot. So it's just a quick way if I'm at a cool spot and I'm like, hey, I gotta get a photo, you know, I'm not gonna be here very long. Quick pull this out, take a photo, and we're good to go. Uh, and then I have this little thing here. It's hooked onto this thing that actually broke off. It used to be one of those things that you hook your keys to. It broke, so I put this thing on there, 
and I think it's for business cards or something, but I just put this little bracelet in here, and this bracelet is actually a lightning cable to USB, which is pretty darn cool. So yeah, I just kind of put that in there. And then moving down into the bottom part of this pocket here, I have my mini super small camera bag, which this is what I put the camera that I am shooting on right now inside of, just to provide a little extra protection in my bag, because I don't like just throwing my camera in here. I don't want the lenses to get scratched up or anything. So yeah, I'll just throw it in here and then put it in this pocket and it's usually pretty good to go. All right, so moving on to the last main item in this bag, all the way at the bottom here is this little pouch thing. It says food nutrition services because I got it at my old job from last year, but I don't use it for food and nutrition. It's just I don't want to spend money on something else when this works just as well. So this here is kind of a pouch of things that I don't use all the time, but I might use. So in this mesh pocket here, I have like five dollars in ones in case I just need quick money and then I also got my skate tool which I don't use all that often but in case I need to tighten loosen trucks or replace something it's there just in case I need it. Next up there's this other pocket here this other mini one and in there I've got this thing of band-aids from Olmstead Medical Center container I don't know just band-aids though because you know I fall a lot clearly and it's always nice to have band-aids on just in case I'm bleeding a lot or something or I just want to protect the wound. Uh, and then I have this pocket knife in here. It's the kind that pulls out into a pliers. I don't really know why I have this in here, but I figure like better safe than sorry, I guess, you know, like, like why not? You never know when you're going to need it or something. And then in the main compartment, I actually keep a book. Currently I'm reading the super boring Gulliver's Travels, would not recommend. I'm uh, almost done with it, so I'm almost almost through with it but pretty boring so yeah i usually throw a book in here or something because sometimes i stop and there's a really cool spot and i just want to sit down and read for a little bit you know it's just kind of fun you know get off the phones the electronics just kind of sit back look outside relax read a book or something but if i choose not to put a book this actually fits my ipad pro perfectly so that's another option sometimes i'll put my ipad in here but usually it's just a book because I like having a book with me. Books are fun. You should always read. So that concludes the second compartment. And that's kind of the main compartment. That's where most of the stuff goes. Let's move on to the last part. But first, before we do that, I want to grab my baseball cap because this wind is kind of brutal right now. There we go. Much better. Classic look right here. Moving to the main compartment. One thing I will say, usually in the laptop sleeve, I will put a frisbee but I actually misplaced mine at the moment. But normally there's a frisbee in here because you know, if you ever meet up with people or you wanna hang out or you're doing a cruise with someone and you stop, why not toss around a frisbee? Frisbees are fun. It's just an essential thing that you should probably have because they're cool. So yeah, bring a frisbee. They're pretty cool things to have, pretty lightweight too. The next thing I have in here are actually my longboard slide gloves. I believe I unboxed them in a video. I think. Yeah, longboard slide gloves. They are Sector 9, BNCH, BNHC, one of those, something like that. But yeah, they have these removable Velcro discs that go on the center of them. They stay on really well. I'm not going to say too much because I'm going to review them soon, but they're pretty nice. I always leave them in the bottom of my bag because sometimes if I'm going really fast on a longboard or something, it's nice to have them for extra control and turning capabilities. Or sometimes if my hands are all beat up, I'll take the pucks off and just use them as protection when I'm doing freestyle tricks and whatnot. So I always leave them just at the very bottom of the bag and kind of forget about them until I need them. And then moving on to the next thing, I have here this selfie stick that also doubles as a tripod on the bottom. So you can make it a really long tripod and set it down on the ground, or you can fold up the tripod part and use it as a selfie stick. Currently I have my action camera mount on the top of it, but you can attach a phone on it. So it's very versatile. It also has this Bluetooth remote for it, but I've actually never used it because I mainly use this for video purposes. But with that being said, it's a very cool device and it's pretty light. So I just throw it in here. Never know when I'm gonna need it. And that kind of goes along with the next item, which is the last item I believe, which is this case. And this is actually where my action camera is and all its accessories. In here I got the DJI Osmo Action camera and a bunch of accessories. A lot of these things I haven't even used that yet, like these sticky sticky mounts you can mount stuff on. Got some spare batteries in here, two spare batteries. 
And I also have this mini camera or smartphone camera mount just in case I don't have my other one with me. There's just one in there. I got a head strap and then this little baseball cap clip that goes on the baseball cap. Yeah, I usually throw that in my bag if I don't want to carry my main camera with me just because it's pretty light and it doesn't it's not as heavy as this one but for this video i put all of them in there so normally i'll use i'll usually pick between one or the other but yeah that is pretty much everything in the bag one thing i did forget to bring though was sunglasses usually i'll throw a pair in here somewhere just because it gets really sunny out but forgot my pair today but other than that that's that's pretty much it that's pretty much all i carry unless i throw in a few snacks or whatnot if you guys think i'm missing anything definitely leave it in the comments below or if you think that i'm crazy for carrying all this stuff feel free to tell me whatever you want <laughs> But yeah, you guys, with all that out of the way, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Maybe if you carry stuff when you go skateboarding too, I've showed you something that you forgot or that you might want to take with you on the next time because it's important. Or maybe I've just showed you that I'm crazy for carrying all this stuff and it's just completely unnecessary and I just look dumb. Your opinion either way, I don't care. But I hope you got something good from this video. And with all that out of the way, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm gonna head out and I'll see you guys next time. What day is today? I think today's, today's gonna be Wednesday when you see this. So I'll see you guys on Saturday for another video and be on the lookout because I think it's gonna be another board review, possibly. And that'd be pretty sick because I know you guys love my board reviews. So keep on the lookout for that. You guys are great. Let's get to 200 subs. That would be freaking insane. And that's all. Peace, bye, yeah, bro fist, ugh.